John Haller, co-founder, chief executive officer, mobile health consumer. Welcome to Juicing with Gary. Gary, pleasure to be here. For every one of our guests, yep. I like to make a special juice. So I was thinking about juice, I was doing research. You're strong, you're big, big muscles, a big guy, right? So I got to thinking about superfoods. Okay. Today's is gonna be all about the spinach. Oh, love Smell spinach. Smell the spinach. Ah, oh, yeah, loving, the spinach. <laughs> loving the spinach. There we what go. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask you to participate in this. Okay. I'd like to start to cut up those beautiful pears. You know why they call this the superfood, John? Why is that? Because this is one of the most, keep cutting, John. I didn't know this that. This is one of the most nutrition rich vegetables out there full yeah. of A, C, D, and even vitamin K. Wow. What we have here, just so you know, we have parsley, spinach, celery. We even have a little mint. We're going to add a little Par mint oh, in the end, right? Some yeah. lime, some pears, and my favorite, watercress. There we get go. Get it turned on there, John. All right. First, we're going to start with the spinach. The spinach? Yeah, and I want you to get that spinach down in there. Get it in there. Got a boy. Here you go. Yep. Yeah, that's Oh, look at that. Teamwork. Yeah, well, look at that. Just look at it. Look at that. Look at it. Now we're going to get some parsley. Got it. You gotta have parsley. Gotta have parsley. Parsley is good for everything. Really? Yeah. I like the mint idea. The parsley. Just a little mint. I always a little, think a little parsley. Yeah. Gotta get a little go. parsley down in there. Okay. Perfect. Now I want you to take the pear pieces. All right. Let's see how this Take goes. the juice. There you go. That's it. The final touch. Uh oh. Just a little bit of mint. All right. Not too much because we don't want to ruin the taste. Okay, oh, let's shut that off. All right, here that we go. That was a first, but we're levitating here. Okay, beautiful. You have done a fabulous job. All right, now, these are our stirrers. You have okay. the, you know, a little onion, a little scallion. Oh, stir. scallion. I love scallions. Yeah. All right, my friend. Cheers. Cheers. Well, John, welcome again to Health Matters. Uh, thank you for juicing with me. I, I hope you had a good experience. It's a lot of fun, and it tastes great. It really does. I think it's the mint. I'm going to uh, go with the mint. I, I, I like right. that. I would agree. So with that said, I'd love you to go back. You know, you're a, you're a boy from Boston, and here you are living in Southern California. So, uh, tell me your story. You know. Sure. You know, um, I pinch myself sometimes. I was really lucky. I was um, the youngest of five children, um, a sort of working class Boston neighborhood, and uh, entrepreneurship was sort of in the genes. So my dad had his own business in South Boston. So in junior high and high school, I would jump on the red line, for those of you familiar with Boston, uh, take the red line into South Boston, South Station, and walk across the bridge and go to work with my dad. So what was the business? I'm curious. The business, he was a paper merchant. He sat on the board of the local bank. And um, it was all men, all older men. And he said, I'm tired of looking at all you old farts. If you don't bring a woman onto the board, I'm going to resign. So they uh, recruited a woman board member, and that was one of the first female board members of that bank. My mother was very active in the business. Uh, my sisters were very, you know, all treated as equals, and it was a very successful family business. And uh, I would say most of what I've learned about business, you know, came from that experience. Um, although I'm a male CEO, the in the the main sort of ranks of our company, we have, you know half of our development team are female, which is very unusual in Silicon Valley. And we're very into equal pay for equal work. The person who runs our entire services organization and solutions consulting organization, separate people, female. Um, and it, it, that's not by design. I would just say, you know, looking for the best people, um, regardless of gender, regardless of race, is a really important thing to me. It was important to him. Um, and it's something I've carried forward into business and I sort of count that as, um, you know, it, it's how do you harness the diversity of a team to really perform at a high level once they have been given a purpose that they believe in and get behind. So that's sort of how the DNA of the company has evolved. So here we are in Silicon Valley. Yeah. Uh, we're in San Mateo, right? Yep. And we're surrounded by Google and Apple and you name the technology giant or emerging company, they're here. But yet developers are coming to work for you. Uh, tell me how, how's that, how's yeah. the competition, yeah. How, yeah. Why? why? Fierce, yeah, yeah. zero unemployment. Um, this entire, our entire economy, it's a knowledge-based economy. It's whoever has the best talent wins. And I've always felt that if you give great people a higher purpose, that you're going to do better. Family is sort of what sort of oozes out of all of this. If we help one more mom or dad see their kid graduate from college or meet their grandchild, because we help them live a healthier life and they live longer, or we caught a um, you know, mammogram and somebody catches something early. You know, uh, my, both my parents died pretty young. One of complications from diabetes, that was my dad, the other of cancer. So 
I always feel like this is kind of my way to give back. If we help somebody live longer, participate, be there for their grandkids, their children longer, we don't, you know, it's great if we make money, but it's really great if we do that. Family business is different than where you are today. Mobile health consumer. How did you end up with that idea? Right, How did you yeah, end up so, here? yep, yep. So I, um, uh, um, like many of you, I, I, grew, I, I went out and got a um, job out of college for a um, health insurance company selling self-funded health plans, kind of like your Cigna background, Gary, um, and really enjoyed that. That was a great education to how the financing of healthcare works. This whole notion of two companies that have the exact same benefit plans, that pay the exact amount for it, and have the same levels of benefits. If one's communicated well and is, and, is, and is surrounded with, we're doing this for you because we value you as a contributor to the company, back to the talent question. So I've always sort of believed in that. So when we got to the West Coast, um, uh, started working with technology firms, again, around health and benefits, and then saw an opportunity with um, mobile. So talk to me about mobile health consumer. Talk to me about your programs and how does that Absolutely. help me navigate that? Yeah, find care, right? Click a button. Here's the different places you can go. Here's what makes sense to go. How do we make it radically easier for benefits um, executives at companies to get that guidance out to their, their employees and their dependents, right? And we say, look, this is your employer's resources. Here's what, what you have access to go to, and here's when and why you'd want to go. A lot of it, Gary, is just we're overloaded. We want to create, our vision for mobile health was a proactive experience that would come out and ping you and say, time for your wellness exam, time for your flu shot, time for your A1C, time to participate in the well-being program of, of your employer. Hey, do you want to join the challenge that just launched? We're doing a walk around the world. It's going to be fun. You can earn a t-shirt, you know, and then they can decide how and when they want to participate. So John, this sounds like a very cool, very simple technology. I'd love to take a look at it and just get a, a, a sight for myself. What does sure. it look like? Can you show me something? Yeah, sure. So it's a very simple thing, but we take a consolidated checklist across all, remember it, at Caesars Entertainment, here are the things we want you to do, you know? Uh, enroll in benefits, take your health assessment, join a challenge, whatever the things are coming up, in a nice simple checklist. And then you can earn points, you can earn incentives, and then when those things happen, we'll alert you. So there's a lot of alerts and um, communications, which is, if you think about it, the big business problem that um, employers have is how well do they communicate with their people, right? So the, you know, we talked about the emergency room. You know, next time you go to the emergency room, you can save time and money. Right, you can call your doctor. So again, how do we constantly remind people what the different options are available to them in a proactive way as opposed to a reactive way? So John, um, when you were talking about your parents with what they even experienced, is there something that could have been simplified for them? Yeah, yeah it, it's at the root of a lot of our mission. So um, my mom died first of cancer, leaving my dad, you know, she was the matriarch of the family. She helped us all with our homework. She was in the house a lot more than he was. So when she passed away first, um, him dealing with his diabetes after she passed, there was no one there to say, put down the, the, the bad food, pick up the good food, you know, get out and walk. There was nobody to do that. And I always felt that if somebody, or there was some sort of service that was available at the time, to sort of guide him through what he should have been doing. Could he have done a better job managing his diabetes? And then, you know, he died pretty young from complications from diabetes. So for me, that is at the core of what we're trying to do. Again, how do we make right things easy to do? Because it's a complicated world. We're getting inundated with a lot of information. How do we have the trusted information that's evidence-based that keeps me sort of doing the things I need to do? Well, first of all, I want to thank you for your time. Uh, this has been just amazing and wonderful and encouraging to me. So with that said, thanks for juicing with me. And more importantly, thanks for sharing this wonderful message because health does matter. So cheers, my friend. Cheers. You're always welcome in San Mateo. Thank you. <laughs> all right.